Assalamualaikum Hi everybody In this video I want to show you My final version Of this Newman motor Of this prototype um, With this setup This motor Runs More efficient It can run with lower input voltage and also lower input power okay now I'm going to show you what I have done um, on this motor here This is my um, DC DC uh, converter. I use a new um, converter. I mean, different from the uh, last video. It has um, 18 volts um, output originally with center tap. It means the output is uh, plus 18, minus 18, and the uh, center tap, the zero voltage. And what I did um, on this uh, converter is to add um, another winding so that I can power the uh, switching uh, circuit here with the same uh, power supply or converter the uh, input is 12 volt and the output is 18 volt with center tap and then I add another winding to enable me to get uh, 12 volt output so now I have two outputs one output one main output uh, for powering the uh, coil and then the other output for um, powering the uh, switching unit or switching circuit and also the uh, sensor the uh, optical sensor here okay and on this PCB I uh, put all the uh, switching components and I add two big capacitors with 4700 microfarad each so I have uh, much more uh, capacitance than uh, on the previous setup and here I use IGBT as the uh, switching transistor okay again the uh, input should be 12 volt it goes here to the uh, DC DC converter and then the main output goes here to the capacitors and then the secondary output um, goes here to the uh, switching components and then here I have um, five connectors 
free for the uh, um, optical sensor and two for the coils and also I reduce the coil length to minimum okay now the setup is uh, very simple not too many wires and also here I make a, a marking the uh, rotation direction is uh, in this direction okay now we can see from this side this is just the same as uh, on my previous videos these are the output terminals this is from behind I'm going to turn on the uh, power supply. I'm going to set it to 12 volts. Rotor. Now the motor can start very easily now. So show you the uh, output voltage of the uh, this converter DC DC converter the uh, main output voltage you see it's 36 volts 36.2 volts and then the uh, secondary output voltage is 11.5 volts okay now I'm going to show you the uh, lowest um, minimum voltage um, to run this motor This is the uh, lowest voltage 
that we can use to run this motor you see we still get the uh, output or the uh, radian output at 7.3 volts the uh, input current is 0 0.5 amps <coughs> I will show you also that if we reduce the uh, voltage again uh, 0 0.1 volts it will not run I mean the uh, motor cannot run with 7.2 volts The rotor is slowly um, stops, slowly stopping. Now I'm going to okay. This is 7.5 volts. The rotor is. Uh, starting to catch up the uh, RPM ah, one more information <coughs> The uh, DC DC converter is a um, isolated. I mean, the input is isolated from the output, and also the uh, secondary output also isolated from uh, input and uh, primary output. Um, circuit so with this configuration it is possible to connect the uh, output terminals to the input terminal to make the uh, motor um, um, Close loop. I mean, it will not work. I have shown you on my previous video because uh, the uh, electrical output power is uh, much lower than the uh, input power. So it is impossible for this motor to run in close loop. But we can try uh, if you want. But I will not show you on this video right now. Okay? I think um, that's it for now. Until next video. Bye bye.